compared it to go in mine. Go with him, twin. Give to him that asks thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. You have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to shine on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love them which, which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? If you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not evil the publicans so. Be ye perfect, even as your father is in heaven, is perfect. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. From where we read, he said, if anyone we ask of you, do not reject that person. Do not say no when you have it. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. God had in no time withhold good things from us. Right. Psalm 84 and verses number 4. If the Bible says, no good thing will he withhold from they that walk uprightly with him. So if you are the children of God, the Bible says, we should be good as he is good. We should love the way he loves. We should see the way he sees. We are in the period of Easter. In 20 days from now, we'll be celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. How many of us are going through the suffering with him right now? Rather, we want to gratify our flesh. We want to please our own selves. Some of us are even living a competitive life, forgetting what it is to be called the children of God. To be called the children of God is to be selfless. You don't think of yourself anymore. You think of others who are close to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I have said, he said you have heard that it was said that thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate your enemies. Thou shalt love your neighbors and hate your enemies. This was old commandment. The new commandment is to love your enemies. Do you know why? We were enemies of God in one way or the other in time past. Let us look back to our life. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, none of us were Christians. Is it truth? Yes, sir. None of us were qualified to be where we are now. At all. If God had judged us in those time past, would we have been standing now? No, sir. No, we would not be standing. But he forgave us even before the time began. He loved us even before the world began. He gave us all we ever needed to become his perfect children. Why should we not come to this earth and begin to live like those who do not have God? We are different from the people of this earth. Jesus says, even though you are in this world, you are not of this world. Don't live like the people in this world. Why? You have a place where you come from and you have a place where you are to go back to. Never mingle yourself with the people of this world. The people in this world live psychedelically. They live the way they want. They don't care of whatever they will come. All they live, they are living for their lives. But you live as one who knows where he's going. Amen. Hallelujah. Everyone who knows where he's going will always be conscious of where he is. You will not want your now to destroy where you are going because where you are going is important than where you are now. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I said to you, love your enemies. Who are our enemies? 
Some even don't even call their parents. Some don't even call their fathers and mothers. Some even point fingers to their families. You, now you cause I not succeed. I tell you rope, now your hand I see. They, they tell me this, they tell me that. Those are not your enemies. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, a demon can enter any person. Yes, sir. If Peter, who stood by Jesus, who ate with Jesus, just few seconds ago, Peter says, you are the Messiah, the son of the most high God. Not long, the devil entered him and began to say, you will not die, Jesus. And Jesus returned. Jesus says, I rebuke you, Satan. Jesus was talking to Peter, but he was seeing demon in Satan. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you point fingers to your brothers and sisters and say they are the one causing your bad luck, you are fighting physical battle. You should help them to overcome that demon that is troubling them. Anyone can be possessed. It does not mean that they are they are in control of that power. No, it is the power that is pushing them to hate you. Hallelujah. Will it not shock you if a brother tells his family and says, I have a dream, I will become the greatest with the family. I think the family are supposed to be happy. Yes, sir. But the devil entered them to stop the same man with a dream who is to feed them in the future. But as God will have it in heaven, God has written the destiny of Joseph that it was going to be no matter the hand of man, that this one will still be what I have said. Even though the demon pushed them to kill Joseph, to do everything, but God in his mercy at the end brought him out to become the one that will rescue them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't fight those who are fighting you now. They want you to be like them. The moment you are fighting physical battle, you are leaving the spiritual battle and becoming like them. We are not like the people of this world. We are different. Hallelujah. We are different from the people of this world. Even though we exist on this earth, but we are not of the same level with them. We are, we are, we are supernatural humans who are living in a human body. As demons possess human body, so the spirit of God possess human body. I don't know of which breed are you. Hallelujah. I don't know of where you come from, but I'm talking about myself. I know where I come from. And I know where I'm going. I will not yoke myself with the things of this world. Amen. Hallelujah. For this sake, many sow their soul. They sow their lives. Because they, feel, they forgot who they were. So they want to be comfortable on where you are not supposed to be com where you are not supposed to be comfortable. They are trying to be okay to please their world instead of pleasing him that called them. Ah, now cut the rain now. Now ritualism. Now this, now that. Come on. We are not of this place. So if we have a place going, why should we feel balance? Why should we feel reluctant as if that we have arrived? Earth is not our home place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. <laughs> this is a difficult task. Mm. You wake up in the morning. Somebody just say, now you I see for my dream. The next thing begin accuse you, accuse you, accuse you. Ah, it will take the love of God for you to say, may God show mercy on you. You walk past. But today Christianity, if you not stop, ah, we go die. We go die here. Yeah, yeah, as I tell you, now police go say to us, we go die. Hey, whoa. Are you sure you have God? Hallelujah. John chapter 8 and verses 44. The Bible says that uh, Jesus was said. He said you are of the devil, your father. He said the will of the devil you are doing. If you were of God, you will love me. If you are of God, you will love me. In other words, the essence of love is the presence of evil. So love covered multitude of sin. If you don't love, you will hate it is two things hallelujah it's either you love or you hate amen amen jesus says love them bless them that curse you how many of us will take this garment from today how many of us want to wear this garment i want to see your hand how many of you want to wear this garment it is 
a garment that makes you perfect in the realm, but it is difficult to wear in the physical. Do you know why? In the physical, you become foolish to people. People see you to become this one an idiot. Send a small piggy the cause him. You know why? Why? You know why degrade himself? This man of personality don't allow. See, I can't bring himself down. No, in the realm of the spirit, you are building momentum. In the realm of the spirit, you are building a crown for yourself. Sometimes there are things you tolerate not because you not because you are foolish but because you know what you are doing in the realm. But physical people we say if you try me we die. If you try me today will be the end. You are of the devil. You are of this world. If you are of God you will love and not fight. You will love and not hate. And not begin to fight. There are many of us before they talk one, you don't talk ten. How do we overcome this evil? It's by love. Amen. Amen. Let us learn to love Jesus. Says, Bless them if they curse you. Any man and woman that is cursing you, don't curse. If you curse, you are engaging in physical battle. Rather, bless them. They say this thing will punish you. Say, God bless you. Who is that God that we curse if our God does not curse? Who is that Ojuju? Who is that idol that we curse when God has not cursed you? It doesn't matter the hand of man moving against you. If God says you are going to be, you will be. Men stop Joseph. Family stop Joseph. Situation stop Joseph. Principality stop Joseph. Even the governmental power stop Joseph. But because of the hand of God was upon him, and in due time God rose him up. Amen. Don't worry wherever you are right now. Let it be the hand of God that will lift you up. Amen. Never allow people's word become your final say. The Bible says it's of the emperor's sin who did not wear the garment of sin who knew not what was the amount of my sin but he came and said Stanley step back from this let me take your place I paid it off for you you don't need to trouble yourself anymore whatever that is supposed to come to you comes to me judgment that was supposed to take my life has taken the life of Jesus the problem that was supposed to take my life has taken the life of Jesus so why should I not live like him hallelujah Amen. praise Jesus Hallelujah. men may despitefully use you they may persecute you never fight physical battle Thank you, Jesus. the devil will provoke people in your family people close to you so that you engage in physical battle you know why the devil knows the moment you engage in physical battle is rejoicing he wants you to be like other people he wants you to be like those he has dominated what is still keeping you on a high dimension that you are still flying? It is because you are bad on ignore his fight. But the moment you leave the spiritual and engage in the physical, he will rejoice. I don't win now. And God will say, I was supposed to fight it for you. Now that you are fighting it, let me fold my hand and watch. Do you know many of us, God is just watching us. We are our strength with faith. That is where we will call upon him. God is, wait, is waiting for you to call upon him. No word I said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. So in the midst of the battle, look up to Jesus. Don't allow yourself to engage in this physical world. Don't allow yourself to be moved by the things that is taking others away. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Verses 45. He said that you may be the children of your father. What makes us to be the children of our father? When people curse us, you say, bless you. When they pass a good, you say, thank you. This is what makes us to become the children of our father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise upon the evil and the good. The rain upon the just and the unjust. Listen, this morning I think we are enjoying son now. Yes, sir. Did God says only members of God's kingdom family son for you, the wicked, no son, be in darkness? No, sir. God allowed the sun this morning to shine on every one of us because He loved us. 
If God is to judge those who are in darkness now, who are in beer parlor now, many of the, in fact, it will lose as being God. It will lose the battle as being God. Do you know why? Many of us, we were still in that beer parlor many years ago. Yes, sir. We were there many years ago. If God had judged us, God would have lost us. Yes. But he had patience. Today, we are no longer in that beer parlor. We are not preaching at people who are in the same beer parlor. Why? We have experienced it. There is no life there. So we should go out and tell them, brother, many years ago, I was in your position. Many years ago, I was holding cigarettes. Many years ago, I was holding beer. But today, look at my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He allowed His Son to shine on the good. The good and the evil and the good person and the evil person are enjoying the blessings of God now. Do you know why? He's merciful. What the son of the kingdom is enjoying is also what the wicked one is enjoying. So we say, ah, why are the righteous people dying and the evil ones are not dying? Have you ever asked that question? I often get that question from work. They'll say, no more no. They don't die. Only the good people are dying away. I say yes, because this house, this place where we are, it is not our house. The righteous person, the moment you are matured, the moment you have finished your work on earth, you have to go back to your maker. It doesn't matter how long the war takes. In Jesus' days, it took him 33 years. In the days of Moses, it took him more than 80 years. In many times, it took people different amounts. The important thing is your work is done here on earth. Why are the wicked still living? Because they've not started their work. Mm. Hallelujah. He's giving them grace so that they will come into this light. And as they come out of their darkness, they may walk this work for five years and go off. But the important thing, let their work be fulfilled. Only those that will be judged are people who will remain in their darkness and not willing to come out. People who want to die in that darkness are not willing to come out. Those are the people that will be judged. They understand that darkness is over me. What I want to do, I cannot do it. But the things I don't want to do is what I find myself doing. Instead of fighting to come out, they will just say, God, no. God understand. Just met and wait you. Hallelujah. God understand. The day they will meet your judgment, that you will know that. God has been merciful over these years. What did you escape last year? Not try on this year again. Not be the same grace you carry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If it favored you last year, don't try it again this year. It may not work out for good. I don't know who I'm talking to. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in verses 46, if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. If you love people that are close to you, people who see you, you don't love God. Because even unbelievers do the same. People who are in association do the same. People who are in your cultic meeting do the same. People who are in different fraternities do the same. Why? They share their physical love. But your love has to go beyond boundaries. Your love shouldn't be confined by boundaries and limitations. Your love should be extended to people who are in darkness. While we were in our sin, the Bible says in Romans 5, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died. He didn't die today. He died while we were in our sin. But today, we have not come to the knowledge that God, indeed, you are good in my life. If not, I would have perished in my sin. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. If we are the children of God, we should love the way God loves. We should see the way God sees. We should act the way God acts. First John chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. First John 4, 6. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. Mm -hmm. He that is not of God heareth not us. Mm -hmm. Hereby know we the spirit of truth mm -hmm. and the spirit, spirit of, of error. Mm -hmm. Be beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love.
love. In this was manifest the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Mm. Here in his love, not that we love God, mm -mm. but that he loved us mm. and sent his Son to be the protection for our, our sins. Mm -hmm. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Mm -hmm. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfect in, in us. us. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says, we are of God. You know, in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, God says, let us make man in our own image and our likeness. Is it truth? I just heard Holy Sister Ruth say yes. Is it truth? Yes, sir. Are we made in the image of God? Yes, sir. Are we made after his likeness? Yes, sir. Now, if we are made in his image, in other words, we are like God. First John 3 says, as he is, so are we in this world. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So if God is love and he created us in his own image, what should we replicate? What should we demonstrate to the world? This world is sick today. It is because of lack of love. Lack of forgiveness. Parents against their children. Children against their parents. Father against sons. Because of lack of love. Husband against wife. Because lack of love. What do we desire? Because we want to gain the physical world and forget what we are made of. If we are made in the image and likeness of God, look in verses 3, verse 6 here. He said we are of God. So if we are of God, then we should be like God and not demonstrate any other thing. Let us not demonstrate the otherwise. That John 8 44, he says you are of your father the devil. I, I began to try to understand. So you mean the devil created some? No. The devil never created anyone. God created every human upon the face of the earth. But there is a problem where the devil crept in. When man fell, listen, when man fell, the devil took advantage. You know, before the existence of man, there was war in heaven. And when that word began, the Bible says in Revelation 12 that the archangel chased away the Lucifer, the, the Satan, according to Isaiah 14. So when he was chased away, he fell to this earth. Some of his agents on the tree, on the rock, in the sea, in different places. That is where you find demons of the water, demons in the tree, witches and whatever. Hallelujah. So while he came to this earth, he was roaming about, but he found not. And at that time, God created man. When God created man, the devil knew that, yes, this is where I have to begin. The devil began to hurt man. When man and woman was alone, he never could break the love. He never could penetrate. But the moment the man shifted away from the wife, Eve, the devil came in and began to ask, is it true that God has said, where was the man before the devil came in? And where was the devil before now? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It was when the man moved away from the wife that the devil entered the wife. And the devil began to register everyone. Listen, women love Jesus. It is by nature. It's true. That is why they could give heed to the to devil. And the devil began to rephrase and rewrite every commandment of God. Is it true that the Lord said that you should not eat? It might the woman was not there. God spoke to Adam, you shall not eat, not the woman. The woman wasn't yet created. The woman was inside the man as a rib. Is somebody following me? I don't know if I'm just preaching to myself. The, the woman was in a man. The woman was yet to be created when God gave the command. You shall not eat of this tree, but of every other tree you should eat. But the one in the midst of the garden, you shall not eat. So it came to pass when the man left his wife, she was alone. And the devil came in. Women who are alone sometimes give heed to the voice of darkness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is why we as men continue to pray. If you must have peace in your house, pray for your wife. You know why? 
If the devil can get your house, can get your wife, he has getting your house. If the devil can get your wife, he has getting hold of your life. Hallelujah. Now it came to pass. When the devil was talking with the woman, Adam has left the woman and he began to speak and tell her, okay, if this is true, take this ample and eat. And the woman took the ample. After eating, she ate and saw that she was naked. Listen, men, we are in trouble. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said men, we are in trouble. Do you know why? If you don't know how to stand your ground as a man, you will face trouble. This same thing happened when Job was facing trial. He was in difficulty. You know the Bible? Bible says God was the one tempting Job. Yes, sir. God was the one trying Job. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So when Job was in difficulty, he lost his children. He was left with his wife. He had no property, nothing more. Now, it is not like Adam and Eve in the beginning. There was no children, no house, nothing to depend on. This is real marriage. Let us face it now. And the woman said, listen, what is remaining of you? House, not day, children, not day. What is remaining? Cause God and die. But Job, as a man of God, he said, why do you talk or speak as one of the foolish women? You know why? He was still in God. It wasn't like Adam who was seeking to please the woman. This one was seeking to please God and not to please the woman. Right on, sir. Hallelujah. If you are still seeking, I'm not saying it's not good. It is good to seek to please your house, but be very careful not to leave the love of God for your house. For your house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Many fail today because of this part. Ah, God said we should keep our hearts. Fine, this is truth. But there is a problem. If you don't yield to God, serve the Lord with all that life, with all that strength, with all, the Bible says, with everything you have. It is you that set up the fire in the house and the woman keeps the fire burning for you. Hmm. Praise the Lord. The church is quiet. The church is quiet. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is good because why? You must have you must have to know the truth. Women, the marriage is on you. Okay, let me digress a bit. In Proverbs 16 and Proverbs 31, Proverbs 16 says, The good woman built a house. The foolish one, Proverbs 14, the foolish one destroys. Is it truth? Yes, sir. If you are not of God. You will definitely destroy. We know the plans of the devil to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So if you are not building your house, you are destroying. It shows that you are of the devil. Yes, sir, that's true. If you are building, it shows you are of God because God builds. God loves. Hallelujah. Yes. So anything that causes you to destroy your own house, it is of the devil and the will of the devil you are performing. Amen. Amen. This is where it gets difficult. We must be as our Father who is in heaven. God has in no time destroyed man if man has not called for it. Hallelujah. God, the only way God destroyed man was because of the wickedness of man. Man was failing to return and God has to cut off that generation. Even in this generation now, if we still not repent, God is still going to cut people who are wicked away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 7, it says, Beloved, let us love one another. Let us love one another. For this love we are talking of is of God. It is not of man. The love of man is cheating. If man says he loves you, he loves you because of what you have. Take away that thing from your life. You will see there is no love. Some people come close to you because maybe you have what they need. And not on genuine love. Genuine love is found on when you are nothing, when you have nothing. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Minus what you have, you will see, I've seen, I've seen it. Minus what you have, what the people call love is desire, mm. lust. Amen. Amen. If a man is in pain and a woman abandons her, it shows that the woman wasn't wasn't for her in the first place. It is not love, but lust. Right on, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If the wife of Job could leave the husband at that time, she wasn't there for love. She was there for her desire. Amen. Amen. The love we are talking about here, the Bible says, is of love. And everyone that 
love it is born of God. If you love, you are born of God. To love is not to say it. To love is to prove actions. So we say, I love you, I love you. So then it has become song. Some don't even believe the song anymore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love cannot be just in words. When we read down verses 12, it says, No man has seen God at any time. In other words, if you say you love God, then start loving people that you see around. How many of us have seen God at anywhere? Let me see your hand now. We, we, at least we can pray. We are prophet. Our eyes are open. At least maybe we see God in one area or they call us smoke and meat. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of us have seen God? Look at what the Bible says in verse 12. It says, no man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us. How do we know we love God? Because you love people who are close to you. Because you don't engage in physical battle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The only way to overcome the devil of hate, the demon of hate, is to start paying deaf ear to him. Are you following me? Yes, sir. If you are spiritual, when you see in your heart something is going to stir up fire, take your Bible. Just pay deaf ear. Begin to read and worship God. That is the only way to escape. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. In verses 9, in this was manifested the love of God towards us, because God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him. That we might live through Him. Without Him, we would not live. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yet in is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Holy Son to be preparations for our sins. Not that we love God. That deep in your heart. Can you say you love God? How do you know you love God? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How do you know you love God? It is difficult. Until you begin to share the love that is in your heart to people with you. That is when you know that the love of God dwells in you. Yes, Hallelujah. Praise we were all created of love. By love and for love. So we should dwell in it so that the life of Christ be perfected in us. What took man to come and die for another man is not pretense. It's love. It would take love for you to leave your house, abandon yourself. When you are supposed to engage yourself in some things that is going to profit you, you abandon yourself and you go for what God wants. That is love and not pretense. Amen. Amen. I want to quickly show us something here. First Corinthians 13. I'm rounding up. First Corinthians 13 and verses number one. Don't worry, I read. Okay, they say, Amen. Amen. He said, Though I speak with tongues of men, are we there? Yes, sir. If, you are, if you are there, say, Amen. Amen. He said, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and not have love, I have become me a sanding brows and a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophesy, and see into the world and see the past and see the future and see the now. Without love, it is useless. Hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I will, let me give a, a few lights on this verses one. Even though you have tongues of men, do you know there are two types of tongues? Yes, sir. There is heavenly tongues and there is earthly tongues. Yes, sir. Sometimes when you hear people speaking in tongues, Try to understand. I speak often in the language of the spirit and I speak also in the language of men. Amen. Amen. Now the tongues of men is found in Acts chapter 2. When the spirit came upon the apostles, they began to speak in different languages and the Christians, the people of other nations, began to hear the apostles who were by nature Jews speaking Yoruba, 
speaking Igbo, speaking Edo. Why? Because the Spirit of God gave them utterance. That is the tongues of men. The tongues of angels are heavenly communications that is coded, that is hidden from the understandings of men. Man cannot decode. You may not know what you are saying, but God understands what is coming out of you. Are you following me? Yes, sir. So let this part be clear. I know some people don't ever know this. There are two types of tongues. When people are speaking in tongues, try to open your spirit. Look, try to discern, and you will hear that they are speaking even the language of this earth. They themselves may not know that they are communicating the language of this earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have often heard it here in this church. I know when you are speaking, sometimes myself, when I'm praying, I like, I'm praying in idiom. I hear myself, it's like, I hear some language that is so familiar. I know. Amen. Amen. So let it be clear, we have angelic tongues and we have earthly tongues. He said, though I speak with the tongues of men and tongues of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sandy brass and a tickly simba. Though I have the gift of prophecy and I understand all mystery, in other words, the gift of the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the prophetic gift, the healing, all mystery, but without love, hallelujah. He said, even though I have faith, I can remove mountain." Jesus says in Mark 11, 23, he said, if you have faith, say to this mountain, be that removed. He said, the mountain will obey. Even though you remove all the mountains from Montesivano, Tolanchan, or Pescara, but if you don't have love, you are still not of God. This is where it gets tricky. That at the end, only few people will be saved. Many said, Lord, we have casted demons in your name. Lord, we preached in your name. Lord, we have done this in your name. Lord, we even do that and do this and do that. Listen, he said, get behind me. I never knew you. You workers of iniquity. You know why? It was not done of love. Jesus says, if you have done this to one of the little ones, then you have done it to me. Every gift we have, if it's not founded on love, we are wasting the gift. Every mission we attain to take, if it is not done of love, we are wasting it. If you are to give your offering now, you don't love God. You only want to please people to see that you are giving. You are just wasting that money. Use it to eat. If you want to spare your tithe or you want to give to the offerings, it's not coming from your heart. Don't even do it. It's a waste. Anything that is not done of love is a waste. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I will prove it to you. He said, and if I could remove mountain in verses 2, and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, some of us will say, ah, I defeat poor. Even when the church says we are partners, every year we do the feast of love. If it is not done of love, it is a waste. If you are partnering with this ministry and you are not doing it with love, you will never get the blessings. Right on, sir. If you are doing anything in this church, it is not done of love, you are wasting that resources. Right on, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why are, they, why are people not getting results? Because they give out of necessity. They want to give because they are being composed. They are being pushed, compelled to give. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give with love and you get results. Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be born, you, you may allow people to use you as you want. But if that action is not done of love, it's waste. And I have no charity, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long. What does it mean to suffer long? The word suffer allow. Remove the word suffer, they put allow. Say love allowed long. In other words, love tolerates. Your husband will be irritated, irritated to you. But because of love, you have to continue the journey. Your wife may be angry with you for no reason. But because of love, you have to continue the journey. This may not be as it was from the beginning. But because of love, you have to move it to where God says it should be. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Love suffers long. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not proud itself. Love is not puffed up. 
Love is not me, I myself. Love is we. Love is never said, I did, I did, I done, I went, I love, I do. Love is we. Hallelujah. By the time you begin to singularize the, uh, an article, it shows that you are not of love anymore. You are supposed to say, we are not I. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Say, love is not puffed up. Verse is fine. Love does not behave itself unseemly. Love does not seek our own. Love is not easily provoked. Love does not think evil. In verses number five. Love does not think evil. If any man begins to think evil, do you think it's of God? No, sir. Does God think evil towards us? No, sir. Jeremiah 29, 11, what does it say? For I know the thought that I have towards you, a thought of good and not of evil, to give you a good hand. So the thought and the will for God is good and not evil. So if evil is found in you, there is a need to confess and go on your knee and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Philippians 2 21, He said, All seek their own, not seek the things of Christ. If you are not seeking the things of Christ, it shows that the demon has possessed you to destroy your labor of many years. There are many people who the devil have allowed them to build. After building, they'll begin to destroy that thing which they have labored for. Somebody said to yourself, may I not destroy what God has used me to build? May I not destroy what God has used me to build? You can say that with your heart. Say, may I not destroy what God has used me to build? May I not destroy what God has used me to build? On this case, there are people the devil enter. If their marriage was okay. They began to build the law. Automatically, the devil entered the way he entered Eve and began to speak. The man and woman are not separated. They are not destroying the things they were beginning to build from child. Automatically, if marriage fails, the children become vagabonds. Who suffers it are not the parents, but the children. Today, we see things happening around all over the world. It is because when marriage fails, children become vagabond. Children become outcasts. They can do evil things. Why? They lack parents. It is the fear of the parents that brings discipline upon the children. I pray as we hear this word that God Almighty will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's be on our feet. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you pay. Bearing all my, my sins and shame, he loved you, King, and gave.